Barnes & Noble, Chaos, Q98. What can we expect out of Q98 this summer? We're going to have a blast. Project Playground, have that coming up again, and tons of concerts, and of course, the 98 Days of Summer, where you get a prize every day for 98 days, guaranteed. That's cool. You've got Bob and Sherry out here today. That's really great. How'd you pull that off? Uh, Bob and Sherry, you know, Bob, uh, Sherry has the new book, which is really cool. Hello, my name is Mommy. Talks about the dysfunction of raising a kid. <laughs> you know, Sherry's talking about it, and she's having a good time, and there are a lot of folks out here. Bob, he's in his L.L. Bean jacket, and uh, he's going to hop around and sign autographs. It, it was fun having him out. Tell us, Chris, do you think we can talk with Bob and Sherry? I think as soon as they're done signing a few copies of Sherry's new book, I think they'd be more than happy to chat with us. Well, you've heard it from Chris Chaos, the man at Q98. Let's go talk to Bob and Sherry. Hey, we are with Bob and Sherry of Q98 Morning Show. It's a great day out here at Barnes & Nobles. Tell us, Sherry, what are you doing out here today? We have my brand new book, Hello, My Name is Mommy, The Dysfunctional Girl's Guide to Having, Loving, and Hopefully Not Screwing Up a Baby. And I'm signing it, and it's so exciting, Skip. This is a, a dream come true. In fact, I really can't believe it's really happening. Tell me, Sherry, what is it like putting on a morning show? Well, I get to work with Bob every single morning, which keeps me up feeling alive as a woman, I think. And it's the most fun job you could have. It's basically a party every morning. We have a great time. I feel very, very blessed to have the life from the job that I do. Give me my microphone. No, hey, no, hey, no. Hey, morning, morning co-host, Mom, Arthur, what else can we expect out of Sherry? I am launching myself into space next week, Skip. Good evening. Yes, I'll be colonizing Mars, and it's a very exciting opportunity for me. How did you get that opportunity? Bob uh, suggested it, actually. Right. Bob, Bob, what's the, what is the, working this lady must be a trip. What is the oddest call that you've ever had? We had some wacko named Skip who is tall with a green shirt who called up, and I can't even tell people because this is on TV, what he was in. It was very, very kinky. It had something to do with a buffalo out west. And I, I really am trying to forget about it. I, I understand. I like this. You're, you're interviewing me. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Tell me, uh, what's it like putting together a production on a morning show every day? We just get up, uh, you know, and wing it. Uh, there's just nothing to it. It's, it's the easiest job I've ever had. What time do you have to get up? Um, we go on the air at, at 6.08, and we get up right around 10 of 6, and just <laughs> and just drive like a bat out of you-know-where to get there right. and, and show up. The people are listening, and there's not really too much to it. Tell me, where, where do you guys get those zany call-in questions? I know I, I recall one of them about what's in the bed with you. Well, uh, that's from my own personal experience, Skip. I, I felt if it were exciting for me, surely others were living that as well. We get them from our listeners. Our listeners have the most interesting lives and the best stories to tell. They give us the idea, and then we just kind of run with it. Guys, we really appreciate your time. And you're seeing Bob and Sherry on On the Town TV, and hey, it's changed up. They're interviewing me. And we're here with Skip. <laughs> we are Bob and Sherry. And hey, you're watching On the Town TV. Don't go away. There's more coming up.